Do, 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 do. You're happy. Honestly, you have more ups and downs than a roller coaster. Well, today I'm peachy, thank you very much. Stop pushing her so hard. Well, she likes it, don't you? Yes, you do. do. She's going to bring her breakfast up and I'll be the one copying for mopping it up. Oh, well, stick her in the backyard and hose her down. Oh, what a looking nice today. I've got Shirley, social worker, coming round. Again? I know. You're going to put Jason in a nice card and some slippers, prove he's a real dad. Actually, I uh, haven't told him. Why? Well, you know what his life is, under pressure, and he's like a cornered rat. Morning, campers. I've uh, got Charlie's book here. I'm going to go for his contacts, see if there's any work going. Ooh, hark at Mr Initiative. You see all those years in Cub Scouts, does it pay off? Dip, dip, dip. See ya. Who want to be ya? Hey, you a kiss. That's progress. I think you'll find that that was meant for me. <laughs> you were difficult yesterday. Oh, yeah, with the bomb scare and everything. Oh, uh, no, I meant my new boots, actually. I took me ages to choose them. Oh! <laughs> you know, I got my first boots when I was 16. White leather. Oh, they only stayed up because they were elasticated. I had legs like bits of string back then. <laughs> I tried on some of them skinny boots. I couldn't get them off. I said to myself, if you want your boots back, you're going to have to act me legs off. Hey, yeah. Hey, you. What are you doing here? Hey, look, I wondered, how do you fancy lunch tomorrow, somewhere special? <laughs> well, you could have just texted me. I know, but then I wouldn't have got to hold you, would I? Mm -hmm. Fancy it or what? Oh, I'd love to, babe, but I'm working. Get someone to swap shifts with you. I just, uh, I, I need to talk to you. Jamie? Well, I'll see you back in the Save me. Do I look like the sort of bloke who wears his kegs over his trousers? Like, act natural. Talk. Is he looking? No, he only has eyes for Michelle. Yeah, well, you wouldn't have said that yesterday. Why tomorrow, anyway? What's the panic? I just, uh, I think we should take some time together. Uh, and like I said, I do need to talk to you. And what's about this one? Well, if you want to know, I'll have to tell him tomorrow, won't you? <laughs> Sonny boy's in a bit of a hurry, innit? Eh? Scaling on a clock in one for snogging my sister in the street. He's gone all mysterious on me. How do you mean? Well, he says we need to talk. What about? Wouldn't say. But he's laid on a posh lunch and everything. He's not planning to make an honest woman of you, is he? Woohoo! Congratulations. I'm so happy for Get you. Get off! <laughs> right, later. Potatoes. All right, Sean. Tell Josh to get a wig along, will you? He's ringing this early. Hello? No, 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 it, it's fine, really. Just calm down. I can't tell what you're saying. Now, don't worry, Casey. I did say you could call me if it was an emergency. Are you sure that you still fit him? He says I give him a wedge, yeah. Sorry, can you just hold on one minute? Who is it? Give him here. These are aged three to four. It's not another one of your desperate housewives. It's Casey. Tell Josh to put his box on and put them in the glad bag. Hiya. No, no, no. It, it's fine, really. Uh, yeah, yeah, we can meet up. Um, just say where and when. Right, you are. I'll, I'll, I'll see you then. Bye. What you want? To meet. A bit of a chat. It's not like that's the rules. She signed it in a bit of a state, so uh, I think I'll make up my own rules. Just this once. No, well, that's you all over. Born to be wild. <laughs> so he's looking after Licklin. You couldn't take him to my mum's, could you? Go on then, see how it's you. <laughs> Kelly, here's another little money making idea for you. Why don't you sell your internal organs? Yeah, then you wouldn't have to work the night shift for three quid an hour. Uh, Joanne, if I didn't have any internal organs, I wouldn't be able to work at all, would I? Something's not right. You're telling me somebody has been messing with my chair and it took me forever to get it in the right place. Stanley's missing! Do you know, a few centimetres either way, and that's me in an elasticated bandage. Oh, you've not lost your little gonky thing. Yeah, and you know I give him a little rub every morning for good luck. He's not here. Oh, well, you could always give me a little rub instead, Fizzbon Brown. Uh, one at night shift, girls. Shove them in your drawer. 
And you just let her. Well, it was googly eyes, weren't it? Putting her off a stroke. Morning. Morning, Mr. Connor. Oh, it's been a right fuffle here this morning. The night shift lot have been messing with our stuff. What, they damaged something? Not yet, but if I don't get my chair right, I'll be a prime candidate for RSI. Oh, I've had that. Murder. Repetitive strain injury. It is a health and safety issue. So I had a click of the wrist a while ago. Didn't struggle to lift an omelet pan. I just wanted to wish you good luck for later. I just thought I'd have a little bit of a tidy up before she came round. Have a seat. <laughs> Germs are good for kids anyway. Helps develop their immune systems. Are you saying I'm a slap and clear peacock? I'm saying nothing. <laughs> good plan. <laughs> so. Have you forgiven me for wrecking your garden? Oh, Josh doesn't want us to fill the hole in. Fancies a swimming pool. Ooh, good idea. <laughs> so, how are things with you and Jason and everything? Well, he blew her a kiss this morning. Oh, good, that's good. Yeah, I think now I'm not pecking his head. He can just relax with her and not see her as this terrible burden. Babies are hard work at the best of times. But to have one sort of dumped on you. Yeah, when she first showed up, I didn't know how the hell we'd cope. Now, well, can't imagine life without her. Do me and Paula brewing all, will you? <laughs> oh, yeah, I'll bring them through in a minute. Cheers, Dov. And, er, uh, where's a couple of bickies in there? Give us that fig roll. You beauty. What's up with you? Did you have your eye on it? There's a chip in my mug. What, an actual chip? A chip potato? Hayley, I meant it's chipped. Oh, Oh, no. Big disaster. What are you going to do? You can take the mick all you want. But when I'm rushed to casualty, you won't be laughing then, will you? And I've got my lip hanging off. Well, it'll be that lot again, won't it? It's like being possessed by poltergeist, this is. Stuff's going missing and things not being as they should be. You want to learn to go with a flow, look? And we're creatures of habit, Mr Connor. We know what we like and we like what we know. Tell you what. Swerve the fig roll. I'll have a custard cream instead. Live dangerously. Oh, last. That flaming bomb yesterday spoiled my drinking plans. Yeah, I've been gagging for this. We've been making phone calls all morning. Not them mucky ones again. Don't be daft. Monday's me pervy calls day. I've been chasing work, haven't I? Ah, good idea. That fast food shop's gonna be finished in a couple of days, isn't it? Yeah, I'll be glad to see the back of that, Jody. Talk about air rake. So what do you reckon, Bill? Any more work comes our way, you up for it? Ah, yeah. Can't be in. What about your daughter? Oh, she can't help, how can she? Hey, she's too busy watching Paz and eating rusks. I'm just saying, I don't fancy carrying the other on one shoulder and that little one on the other. Well, my mum's looking after her. Nothing sounds upon my mate. Liz, I know this is a bit last minute, but... Was there any chance I can have tomorrow off? Last minute, she says. Tomorrow? Oh, well, it depends what you're doing. Ah, uh, hello. Proprietor. Oily rag. Well, it's just that it's sort of important, I think. Well, is it or isn't it? It's Sonny. He wants to take me out for lunch. Well, I'll take you out any time. Oh, is it your anniversary? Hey, two months since he spotted you. Murdering the classics in a sparkly top. Well, he sounded... I don't know. He said we had things to discuss. Oh, my God. He's going to propose to you. What, your egg shot? Do you know, that's exactly what Liam said. You seem to know him pretty damn well, Sean, so, uh, come on, spill. Tell me absolutely everything you know. Why is everyone picking on me? I only came in to check rotors. Looking oh. forward to being a Cheshire housewife. Oh, too right. Top to toe and spray on tan twice weekly. False nails so long you can't even wipe your own backside. You're just jealous. I don't think so. Listen, this fancy lunch, take tissues, that's all I'm saying. What? Well, I reckon he's going to dump you. In fact, I'd put money on it. Why well, should he dump her? She's gorgeous. Well, maybe, just maybe, he's found somebody who's got something that she hasn't. Sean, what do you think? Look, this is none of my business. I don't want to be dragged into it. I tell you what, how about if I let you finish early tomorrow? Oh, thanks, Liz. That's really kind of you. Isn't it time you got off, Anson? What time's she coming round? What? Social worker. 
Worthy woman, bad jumpers, hair and a leg so long you could plait it. Hey! It's a joke, Joe boy. I'm trying to use a well-worn cliché to comic effect. The social worker, she's coming round. You haven't heard it from me, though. Yeah, we've, um, really turned a corner, you know, now we've got the routines and everything. Yeah, she certainly seems more content. Anyway, I'll be in touch. Sorry I'm late, Shirley. I got held up. Uh, actually, I'm just going. <laughs> <laughs> Thought you were busy. <laughs> Work. Look, everything's fine, honest. Uh, Holly, she's feeding better. Taking to her solids OK. Yeah, Jason. And uh, when she's not with my mum, she's with Claire from number four. She's a proper nanny, so she really knows what she's doing. Oh, Jason, I'm quite happy with how things are going. I was just saying, Holly seems quite content. Oh, yeah, it's a happy homestead here, isn't it, Mum? So everything's OK? We've ticked all your boxes? Well, I'll still be making regular visits, keeping an eye on things, but I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. See ya. See ya. This is a happy homestead. Where do you think you are? A little out in the prairie. Yeah, I know, ma'am. It's some officials. They make me say stupid things. Anyway, why didn't you tell me she was coming? Well, I thought you had enough on your plate. Well, I was only in the Rovers having a pint with Bill. Well, there you are, then. An executive board meeting with your business associate. Well, at least you seemed pleased, didn't she? Hey, nothing to worry about. Look at you beaming from here to here. Anyone would think you were happy to be Holly's dad? Come on, button up. You want for the benefit? <laughs> oh, how long are you going to keep this up for, eh? Until you stop being a scab. OK, I'm doing night shift for a couple of quid less. That does not make me a scab. Don't mention it. Oh, I'm sorry, Sarah, it's my own word. Do you know what? Anybody think you've been working half the night? The trouble is, Kelly, you're putting ideas into the reds. Yeah, I mean, the next thing you know, they'll be getting rid of us and bringing people in on the cheap. Well, they can't sack you. I mean, there's laws and that, isn't there? Oh, they could lie through the teeth, say that our work's not up to scratch. Yeah, and why should we work our bums off for a pittance while they're living the life of luxury, eh? <laughs> oh, yeah, cos they all live in mansions, don't they? And they've got private jets and that. Yeah, well, they've spent a bit of money on the cars. Uh, can I suggest that if we're concerned about this, which we obviously all are, that we raise it with Mr Connor and Mr Connor. Count me in. Yeah, me too. Got it. Right. Gonna take her to see her Uncle Todd next week. Nice one. So your time will be your own. You can go back to your bachelor boy ways. Good one, that. Mum, what do babies dream about? Milk. Noddy. Dunno. Shouldn't you be getting back to work? Only she's pulling one of them faces. You know, being self-employed isn't about sitting on your butt drinking tea all day. No work, no money. Well, I'm my own boss now. Jason, take the rest of the day off. Oh, cheers, boss. Don't mention it, mate. You used to pull faces like that when you were her age. Thing is, you never stopped. So, do you, you know, feel anything for her? Sorry, forget I asked. Oh, I don't know. I suppose I might do a bit. I mean, baby things are cuter than fully grown things, though, aren't they? What about puppies and kittens and that? Right. Well, it's like, you know, when you see a puppy, your heart goes out to it, doesn't it, cos they're totally cute? That's nature, that is. So what you're saying is that... you quite like her, but not as much as the puppy? Hmm, not exactly. I'm starting to feel like she's mine. Cos sometimes when I think about her, you know, I catch myself smiling a bit, sometimes. I got your text. You said it was an emergency. Somebody's taking Michelle out. Said they need to talk. And that's your emergency? Well, they're going for lunch tomorrow. What if he tells her about us? Why has he got a death wish? Why would he take her out to tell her that? He would have told her this morning. Oh, no. Maybe Liz and Vernon are right. Maybe he's going to pop the question. Could you are such a drama queen. You're really enjoying this, aren't you? No. Yeah. Maybe a bit. Well, I don't know. I just really like him. I thought you liked me. Oh, come on, Sean. He's a player. You want to stay clear? Lucky cow. She gets the man. A fabulous lifestyle. I know it's making me really hate her. 
I don't want to do that. She's my friend. It didn't stop you having a go on a fella, though, did it? I feel ashamed, you know I do. Yeah, of course you do. I don't know how I feel. I'm all over the place. Well, you could turn up to their wedding and sing that song. It should have been me. Well, thank you, Jamie, for your sympathy. I'm glad to see you taking all this very seriously. Well, what's he playing at? I mean, he's going out of her, seeing you on the side. Is that the sort of bloke you want to get involved with? All I'm saying is, me and him, we just connect. There's definitely something there, something dead special. I'm sure of it. Well, you'll find out tomorrow, won't you? Either way. Look at her, eh? All perky and full of herself. Mm. Look at Cal. When was the last time you took me out somewhere special? No, it's the little things in life that mean the most. I mean, with you, every moment is special. Why do you always sound like a cheap greetings card? Mind you, someone did promise to take me on a magical mystery tour and I ended up in a bush shelter in Morecambe. <laughs> yeah, well, I think Sonny's got just a little bit more class than mm. that. Imagine their wedding. A thousand doves set free, as they both say I do. Oh, it's beautiful. The only thing he's going to be sent to is I don't now bag off. You're only saying that because you fancied your chances with her. But if she'd have had any interest in you, she'd have made a move already. If she seriously thinks that Rockefeller is going to whisk her off her feet, then she's thicker than I thought. You know what? The trouble with you, Steve, is you're dead jealous. If you weren't so vile, I'd pity you. Well, I'd save you pity for yourself, dear. You're going to need it. Mm. Oh, um, excuse me. Uh, could we have a word, please, Mr. Conway? Don't tell me. You need counselling to put up with all the trials and tribulations you've had today. <laughs> now, I'm joking apart, Mr Connor. Sally, just swivel on it. I beg your pardon? You know, that's how you change the art of your chair, innit? Swivel it about a bit. Look, I have wasted a fair bit of your time sorting my chair, and I'd rather not have to do it again tomorrow and the Look, day after... we have real concerns about our jobs. There's no need. But Carl's using cheap labour of a night. What's to stop you and Mr Connor doing the same thing in the day? That's not going to happen, right? Carla's business is a separate entity. She's only using our facilities while she gets on her feet. She's got nothing whatsoever to do with Underworld. Oh, well, if you're sure... You have my word. Oh, well, thank you, Mr Connor. Tell Mr Connor thank you. That's put my minds at rest. Thank well, you. Well, do. Good night, ladies. Oh, it's wonderful to have a top on that doesn't smell of sick. <laughs> right, you get off, then. Enjoy yourself, ma'am. Oh, I don't need telling twice. Hey, I've made a milk up with three bottles, so you shouldn't need it all. Yes, I know. Oh, look at you, you little cutie. Hmm? You've got your eyes. Oh, bless the little cotton socks. Will you go on, go? We'll be fine. Will we, Holly? See ya. Yes. Oh, two of my lovely boys. Got to pick our Josh up in half an hour. Oh, he loves that after school club, doesn't he? They're making cornflake cakes today. Anyway, how's what's her name? Casey. Oh, she was in a right state, to be honest. But I sat with her and I listened. And after a while, I honestly think she began to feel a bit better. I couldn't do it, me, listening to people's problems. Be as miserable as sin. Hearing what she's been through, it's really made me realise how lucky I am. I've got you, two lovely children. <laughs> We're yeah, the lucky ones, aren't we? We've improved our lives. I still have my moments, I know, but I've been through depression and I've come out the other side. Now I want to help other people do the same. Come on, who's for coming rovers? Oh, no, kept me out. I promised myself I'd sort out my makeup drawer tonight. Oh, you know how to live. Oh, no, you can't be too careful, you know. It goes off dead quick. No, it never goes off. I've had my Parisian blue mascara for at last. Five years, at least. Oh, yeah. Sally, you dirty mare. They have the germs. I bet you've got thousands of microscopic bugs hanging up your eyelashes. Hey, my eyes do feel heavy. I thought I would just tie out. Hey. What's up with them? We have had ructions in here today. Ructions because of you and your old cheap old workers. <laughs> what do you mean? That lot of being fussy about the stuff. What stuff? One of your workers molested Fizzy's gunk. Another messed about with Sally's chair, almost put her in hospital. Huh? Apparently. Right. Kelly, you better keep your eye on things tonight. Oh, what? Does that make me some kind of a supervisor? Yeah, if you like. Well, there's a couple of extra quid in my wage pack, eh? Nice try. Just keep your eyes open, yeah? Then if there's any more hassle, I'll know who to talk to. 
Let's get you off to sleep, eh, hey, Trouble? Oh, there we go. Go to sleep, my baby. Close your pretty eyes. It's time for little Harley to go to bye-bye. I know your game, Missy. Hey, all smiles trying to win me round. We best not tell Granny Eileen I sang to you. We'll never hear the last of it, eh?